So let's say you're a cyber criminal, theoretically of course. Maybe you're the kind of cyber criminal that posts these annoying comments pretending to be YouTubers to get people to send you money. Maybe you're making money selling stuff on these Silk Road style dark net markets. Or maybe those cyber crimes are too basic, too plebeian for you. You want even bigger paydays. So you turn to ransomware, where you as a hacker inject crippling viruses into businesses' computers, shutting them down in exchange for getting paid a hefty ransom. Whatever cyber criminal you are, if you're not making money right now, you suck. Because business has been booming. If you're not a successful entrepreneur right now, in the easiest time to be a successful entrepreneur because there's so much money in the system and the internet is at scale, you suck. <laughs> the problem with any type of ill-gotten gains is that if you just straight up use that money to buy a Lambo, to buy that mansion, eventually, not immediately, but eventually, people like the IRS, the FBI, the DEA are gonna come knocking on your door wondering where you got all this money from. So we need a way to clean this dirty money so that it looks like it came from a legitimate source. Like you got the money from a legal business you own or something. Back in the old days where you made all your blood money in fiat, there were a lot of proven ways to launder that money. Like buying a cash heavy business like a restaurant or bar and slowly injecting that dirty cash into the business to make it look like your customers gave you that money. Today, however, We have technology! And the payment of choice for all you cyber criminals? Crypto, with the bulk of crimes being paid in Bitcoin. Now this may sound amazing, right? Crypto is anonymous, decentralized, not controlled by the government. All you need is an internet connection to launder money now. But in actuality, as many cyber criminals have come to find, using Bitcoin to launder money is a terrible idea, as one hacker group called DarkSide recently found out. May 7, 2021. Hacker group Darkside takes down the largest fuel pipeline in the US, crippling the East Coast's fuel supply through a single compromised password that didn't have two-factor authentication turned on. And just before 5 a.m., a ransom note appears on one of Colonial's computers demanding 75 bitcoins. Colonial pays that ransom, and just one month later, the Department of Justice announces that it was able to seize the majority of that ransom back. Colonial paid the hackers in Bitcoin, which is supposed to operate outside the control of any government, but the FBI was still able to retrieve it. Not only was the FBI able to trace the transactions back to the wallet containing those Bitcoins, but they were also able to get their hands on the private key for that wallet to get the money back. How they were able to get that private key remains a mystery. That's why some people are saying that Bitcoin is the greatest thing to ever happen to the FBI. I think what people need to recognize is that Bitcoin is the greatest thing to happen to the FBI. It's an extremely useful technology and Bitcoin is quite literally the best form of, of, of ransom payment for federal agents. Unlike cash where it's very hard to trace or bank transfers where every transaction is at least not public, with Bitcoin, every transaction from start to finish is all nice and tidy on the blockchain for authorities to scrutinize. The only thing anonymous about it is that you can't tell who owns which Bitcoin address. But all it takes is for the FBI to get a subpoena for your internet records or your email records to tie a transaction back to you. So if you're gonna make dirty crypto, you better have a way to erase the trail back to you. This is the new age of money laundering, an ever-evolving game of cat and mouse between cyber criminals and cops. And some of the methods they use may be shocking, for educational purposes only. Now, even if you're not a cyber criminal, you should still be taking your online privacy very seriously. For you filthy men out there, protecting your privacy is kind of like washing your hands after you use the restroom. A lot of you don't do it. I would know because I witness it in public restrooms all the time and it's absolutely disgusting. Sure, you're not going to catch a disease every single time you don't wash your hands, but you should anyways. Sure, your bank account isn't going to get hacked every single time you use the Wi-Fi at Starbucks or the airport, but you should be on a VPN anyways. Having a VPN is just good digital hygiene. And that's where private internet access comes in. The world's leading VPN provider at a fraction of the cost of other VPNs and today's video sponsor. They're one of the best reviewed and highest rated VPN services in existence. They have a strict no logs policy so even they can't see your data. It's available on all devices and operating systems. They've got over 10,000 blazing fast servers in 70 plus countries with unlimited bandwidth. Plus with only one private internet access account, you can connect however many devices you want and use up to 10 of them at the same time. And you also get to watch restricted movies on Netflix. Search for a movie you want on a website like unogs.com, for example, The Godfather, see what countries that movie is available in, connect to one of those countries in the VPN and boom, and you get all of this for just $2.08 a month plus two months free when you choose the three-year plan. And they have a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can even pay in Bitcoin or crypto if you want. So stop what you're doing, pause the video, and go to privateinternetaccess.com slash jaketran with the link below to claim this offer right now. That's privateinternetaccess.com slash jaketran with the link below.
Back in the early days of crypto, it was the golden age of money laundering. You get your dirty crypto from whatever racket you were running, and then you simply deposit that crypto into an exchange and withdraw cash. Blockchain analytics firm Elliptic estimates that major exchanges help cash out between 60 to 80% of illicit Bitcoin transactions. Today, however, it's a lot harder. Regulators are putting more and more pressure on exchanges, so a lot of exchanges have Know Your Customer or KYC rules. And they even work hand-in-hand -hand with authorities to stop money laundering. That's where over-the-counter or OTC brokers come in. If you're a big crypto whale or institutional trader that needs to sell a ton of crypto at once, placing a giant order might not get filled immediately. The order might be broken up into smaller pieces at different prices because there's not many people wanting to buy 10 million worth of crypto at once. So they go to OTC brokers who match them up with a buyer at a predetermined negotiated price, which makes OTCs crucial for the liquidity of the crypto market. And OTCs might make up the majority of all crypto transactions. OTCs work within popular crypto exchanges like Binance and Huobi, but because OTCs have much lower Know Your Customer KYC rules, they make for a great tool to launder our dirty crypto, with some OTC brokers seemingly specializing in helping cybercriminals launder crypto. Here's a simplified version of how it works. You put your dirty crypto into an intermediary wallet, you agree on a set exchange rate to convert your crypto into cash with the dirty OTC of your choice, you send your crypto from that wallet to the OTC, and the OTCs work their magic and shuffle the funds around with other clients' money and other OTCs. And then the OTC goes to an exchange like Binance or Huobi to get your cash. Hydra is the largest darknet marketplace today, with the Russian Silk Road site accounting for 75% of all illegal transactions. And one of the things you can buy on there are treasure men. Treasure men are an interesting service that has popped up recently. You send them your dirty crypto and they will literally leave bundles of cash somewhere for you to pick up. They'll bury it underground or hide it in a bush and they'll tell you the coordinates. For a fee, of course. How much can you trust a stranger to send them your crypto so they can bury it somewhere instead of just taking off with your money? I don't know. But Hydra has plenty of other ways to cash out of your crypto as well, including exchanging it for gift cards, prepaid debit cards, and so on. April 27, 2021, US federal agents arrested Roman Sterlingov, owner of a 336 million legal crypto company called Bitcoin Fog for unlicensed money transmission and money laundering. What is Bitcoin Fog? It's known as a Bitcoin mixer or crypto tumbler, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Think of it as a literal laundry machine for your crypto. You and a bunch of other customers deposit your crypto into the tumbler, all your coins get mixed together, and you get your deposit back in multiple random increments over a random period of time. This way, it makes tracking exact coins extremely hard for cryptos with public ledgers like Bitcoin. The tumbler in exchange takes a small percentage, usually 1-3%. to Bitcoin Fog took in around 336 million in Bitcoin over its lifespan, which comes out to around a $5 million profit for the owner. And tumblers are so widespread that apparently 13% of all Bitcoin addresses are tainted with Silk Road coins, even if they never went to the site. Instead of mixing Bitcoins, you can also get out of public cryptos entirely and exchange it for privacy coins. Privacy coins are like any other crypto except, well, they provide more privacy. They make sure you stay anonymous and keep things like your wallet addresses and transaction balances a secret. But which privacy coins offer the best protection? Monero. Not only is Monero one of the most popular privacy coins around, they're also completely untraceable, which are the words every discerning cybercriminal loves to hear. Monero is the cryptocurrency of choice for many of the world's best ransomware hackers like Revil, a globally feared ransomware group that no longer asks for money in Bitcoin, only Monero. Once you've received your untraceable Monero, you can always trade it for clean Bitcoin on any major exchange that accepts Monero, completing the laundry cycle, leaving you free to blow your money on whatever you like. Zcash is another top choice for laundering. Zcash uses something called zero-knowledge proof. Basically, this allows the transaction to be completed without ever recording any information about the people involved or how much crypto was sent. Remember, the less anyone knows about your dirty money, the lower the chance there is that you'll ever get caught. And last on the list of the best privacy coins to launder your spoils is Grin, an open-source cryptocurrency network allowing developers around the world to add to its security and secrecy features. Grin also runs a signature privacy feature called Mimblewimble, which allows past transaction data to be deleted from the blockchain without compromising the security of the network. You should be warned though, these privacy coins may not be around forever. Crypto fraud fighting companies like CypherTrace are actively trying to ruin a good thing by developing and trying to patent tech that would trace privacy coins like Monero, which could mean an end to one of the easiest, safest ways to launder money. I think the chances are pretty low though. The invention of Bitcoin ATMs have also changed the money laundering game. 
Just like depositing money at a regular ATM, you can now walk up to any Bitcoin ATM and deposit as much money as you would like into a completely anonymous crypto wallet, which means you don't need a bank card and you don't have to enter any true personal information to turn cash into crypto. This is great if you're still running any traditional rackets where your profits are still in fiat. You take the dirty money and you simply use one of the 11,000 unregulated Bitcoin ATMs around the world to turn that cash into clean Bitcoin. And then you can turn that Bitcoin into other coins like privacy coins, eventually withdraw it for clean ready to spend cash via the techniques we talked about earlier etc. Privacy wallets are responsible for around 12% of all the Bitcoin laundering last year, making them the preferred choice among cyber criminals. They work a lot like tumblers or mixers, with added security measures like anonymous IP addresses and encryption. Instead of pooling your money with hundreds of other Bitcoin users, you add your dirty crypto to a single transaction with a few others and receive the exact same amount out, except that it's unlinkable and untraceable to your activities. One of the most popular platforms around Wasabi wallets has the benefit of being completely trustless, meaning that no one can see your money, which they would have regretted anyways. If you're an old school criminal and prefer keeping a classic touch on your crypto laundering activities, you may appreciate the simpler method. When you steal a car, that car is considered hot, so you keep it tucked away until people stop looking for it, and then you take it out for a spin. Crypto is the same way. When you first make your dirty crypto, it's hot. So instead of using all these complicated exchanges and platforms, simply dump your dirty crypto into a cold storage wallet. Leave it there for potentially years at a time while the search for the money cools down. Then one day, when you're sure no one's looking for you anymore, take your score out of storage and you're good. The only downside to this method is that you have to wait. And of course, there's no way of knowing if some diehard investigator will still be looking or not. Crypto has been bittersweet as far as money laundering goes. On one hand, it's still being done mostly in Bitcoin as far as anyone can tell, so all the transactions are public, which allows for people to run heavy complex data analysis on the transactions that could have never been done with fiat. On the other hand, cyber criminals are coming up with new methods and tools for outwitting cops by the day. And although it's estimated that less than 1% of all Bitcoin transactions are from illicit activities, it's hard to tell how big it really is. It's hard to tell which transactions are legitimate and which aren't. After all, how many scammers on YouTube are leaving comments asking people to send money via Western Union anymore? None of them. It's all being done in crypto. And as with any problem, comes great business opportunities. One of those companies analyzing crypto data is Chainalysis, and they're the ones that wrote an incredible crypto crime report that was referenced a lot in this video. This video isn't sponsored by them, but it was just so readable and thorough that I wanted to give them a shout out and I'll link to them below. I agree with me, Kevin, in that this space is probably going to continue exploding in the coming years as this financial crimes cat and mouse game continues. It is a space that I'm actually getting more and more interested in investing in. I think there's going to be a really big market going forward for investigating crypto crime. <laughs> and there are companies that- Who has been a while since we've done a crime video. So let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. And if you are new to this channel and this one interests you, you will definitely like the original video we did on money laundering, where we go over the traditional money laundering methods with fiat. That video is almost at a million views. I'm really proud of it. And you can check it out with the link below. And you know what else you can check out with the link below our sponsor private internet access for all your online protection needs a great vpn at a great price with the link below private internet access.com slash jake trip one of the next videos we have coming up is the rise and the fall of the silk road and the guy behind it ross Ulbricht. crazy story that you're not going to hear anywhere else on the news so it's going to be really good and while you're down there you might as well click that red button to subscribe because we make videos like this every single week on the most provocative stuff in the world of business from crime to power to money to geopolitics all of the above you can follow me on instagram at jake for more behind the scenes stuff than the life kind of stuff and that is going to wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching you've been awesome i've been jake you know what to do stay dangerous out there and i will see you guys in the next one